The stock market, often portrayed as a realm of wealth and opportunity, is a fascinating and dynamic facet of the global financial landscape. It's where fortunes are made and lost, where companies raise capital to grow, and where individuals can potentially secure their financial future. In this video, we embark on a journey into the heart of the stock market, unraveling its mysteries and exploring the opportunities it offers. In the world of finance, the stock market is like the beating heart of the global economy. Imagine it as a vast marketplace where investors come together, virtually or physically, to buy and sell pieces of ownership in publicly traded companies. These ownership pieces are called shares or stocks. When you own a share of a company's stock, you're essentially a shareholder, which means you have a slice of ownership in that company. This comes with some perks, like potentially sharing in the company's profits through dividends and having a say in certain company decisions through voting rights. So, Think of the stock market as this bustling marketplace where dreams and investments come together, and where individuals, institutions, and even entire economies dance to the rhythm of buying and selling, driven by news, economic data, and a thousand other factors. It's a place where fortunes can be made, and it's where financial opportunity and risk meet head-on. And that's the essence of the stock market, a dynamic hub of finance that shapes the world of investing and finance as we know it. Now, let's uncover why the stock market exists. Picture this. Companies need capital, and they need it to grow, expand, innovate, and thrive. They need it to create new products, open new locations, hire more people, and basically do all the things that make a company successful. But raising significant capital isn't a walk in the park. That's where the stock market comes in. The stock market is like a financial bridge between companies and investors. When a company decides it's time to raise some serious money, it goes through an exciting process called an Initial Public Offering, or IPO. During an IPO, a company offers shares of its ownership to the public for the very first time. These shares are like tiny pieces of the company, and investors can buy them. Why would anyone want to buy these shares? Because, investors believe in the company's potential. They see it as a smart investment that might grow in value over time. And when lots of investors buy shares, the company gets the capital it needs to fuel its growth. So, in essence, the stock market is a place where companies can raise the funds they need to thrive, and where investors can potentially grow their wealth by buying shares in these companies. It's a win-win situation that's been driving economic growth and opportunity for decades. And that's why the stock market exists, to connect companies with investors and drive progress and prosperity. In this fascinating world of the stock market, there are key players, each with their role in shaping the financial landscape. Imagine it as a grand stage with several actors. First, we have the investors. These can be individuals like you and me, or large institutions like mutual funds and pension funds. They're the ones buying and selling stocks, and they come in various flavors, from day traders looking for quick profits to long-term investors who hold stocks for years. Then, we have the companies themselves. These are the stars of the show. When they decide to go public, they offer their shares to the public for the first time through an initial public offering or IPO. Companies use the funds they raise to fuel their growth and achieve their business goals. Next, we have the stock exchanges. These are like the grand theaters where the action takes place. Well-known ones include the New York Stock Exchange and the NASDAQ. They provide the platform where stocks are bought and sold. And behind the scenes, we have the regulators, like the Securities and Exchange Commission in the United States. They're the referees, ensuring that everything plays out fairly and transparently. They enforce rules and regulations to protect investors and maintain market integrity. So, the stock market is this intricate interplay between investors, companies, stock exchanges, and regulators. Each one has a unique role, and together, they create the dynamic, ever-changing world of the stock market. So, how exactly are stocks traded? Let's paint a picture. When you want to buy or sell a stock, you're engaging in a dance of demand and supply. Think of each stock as a product, and its price is determined by how much people want it versus how many are available for sale. If a lot of investors want to buy a particular stock but not many want to sell it, the price goes up due to the increased demand. Conversely, if many are selling but few are buying, the price drops. Now, most stock trading nowadays takes place electronically. Investors use online platforms and brokerage accounts to place their buy or sell orders. But here's where it gets interesting. 
When you place an order, it doesn't immediately get matched with another person. Instead, it heads to a centralized place. Think of it as a grand digital arena, known as a stock exchange. Here, sophisticated computer algorithms match buy and sell orders in microseconds. And once a match is found, a trade is executed. But while technology plays a pivotal role, emotions run high. News headlines, company earnings reports, economic indicators, even rumors can influence an investor's decision to buy or sell. This ebb and flow, this dance of numbers and instincts, is the heartbeat of the stock market. Every trade tells a story, of hopes, strategies, and the ever-persistent quest for financial growth. Now, let's talk about why you might want to dive into the world of stocks. First and foremost, stocks offer the potential for growth. Historically, they've delivered higher returns compared to many other investments over the long term, though it's crucial to remember that past performance doesn't guarantee future results. When you invest in stocks, you're essentially betting on the success of the companies you're investing in. If those companies thrive and their stock prices go up, your investment grows in value. It's like watching your money work for you. Another enticing aspect of investing in stocks is diversification. You can build a diversified portfolio by owning stocks from different industries, regions, and company sizes. Diversification helps spread risk in your investment portfolio. If one industry or company encounters trouble, your other investments can potentially balance out the losses. Dividend income is another perk. Many companies share a portion of their profits with shareholders in the form of dividends. These can provide a steady stream of income on top of any potential capital appreciation. Owning stocks also means having a say in certain company decisions, depending on the type of shares you hold. You might get to vote on issues like board elections and major company decisions, giving you a voice in the corporate world. Lastly, stocks are highly liquid investments. You can typically buy and sell them quite easily, which provides flexibility in managing your investments. All right, now let's talk about the flip side of investing in stocks, the risks. First and foremost, stock prices can be a wild ride. They're influenced by a multitude of factors, including economic events, company news, and investor sentiment. This means prices can swing up and down like a roller coaster. While that volatility can offer opportunities for profit, it also means there's a risk that your investments might drop in value, sometimes significantly. Second, there's the possibility of losing your initial investment. If you buy a stock and its price goes down and keeps going down, you could end up with less money than you started with. This can be a tough pill to swallow, especially if you need that money for something important. Diversification can help spread risk, but it doesn't eliminate it entirely. Even a diversified portfolio can still take a hit during a market downturn, especially if the entire market is down. Another risk to keep in mind is that the stock market doesn't come with guarantees. While stocks have historically provided higher returns over the long term, there are no guarantees that this trend will continue. Past performance doesn't necessarily predict future results. Lastly, the emotional factor is significant. When you see your investments fluctuating in value daily, it can be stressful. Emotions like fear and greed can lead to impulsive decisions, like selling when prices are low or buying into a hot trend at its peak. So, while investing in stocks can offer substantial rewards, it's not a risk-free endeavor. It's vital to approach it with a clear strategy, a long-term perspective, and an understanding that the road can be bumpy. Like any adventure, stock investing requires preparation, resilience, and a willingness to learn along the way. Let's talk about getting started in the stock market, your gateway to potential financial growth and wealth building. First things first, educate yourself. Before you dive in, Take the time to learn about how the stock market works, different investment strategies, and the companies you're interested in. There's a wealth of information available online, from books to courses to financial news outlets. The more you know, the better equipped you'll be. Next, set clear investment goals. Determine what you want to achieve with your investments and your risk tolerance. Are you looking for long-term growth, income through dividends, or a mix of both? Understanding your objectives will guide your investment decisions. Choose a reputable brokerage account to start your journey. Look for one with low fees, a user-friendly interface, and a solid track record. Your brokerage account is your portal to the stock market, so make sure it fits your needs. Starting small is often a wise move. 
Begin with a diversified portfolio of stocks and consider a strategy called dollar cost averaging. This means investing a fixed amount of money at regular intervals, regardless of market conditions. It can help you avoid the temptation to time the market, a notoriously tricky endeavor. Stay informed. Keep up with financial news and market trends, but avoid making impulsive decisions based solely on short-term events. Investing is a long-term game, and trying to predict short-term market movements can be risky. Remember, every investor has a unique journey. What works for one person might not work for another. Be patient, stay disciplined, and keep learning. The stock market can be a powerful tool for building wealth, but it rewards those who approach it with a well-thought-out plan and a commitment to ongoing learning. So, whether you're just starting or looking to fine-tune your strategy, welcome to the world of stock market investing, where your financial adventure begins.